Hey V Riders and uh, thanks for joining me on another video um, Today I'm going to be reviewing the um, Hepco and Becker Street Soft Bags Just get my notes ready, I'm not prepared yeah, The um, Street Soft Bags And this is the reloaded 14, 17 litres version um, Before I go any further, please if you wouldn't mind uh, giving the video a like or even an unlike and uh, uh, if you're interested in uh, my videos, please subscribe, it will help me uh, grow the channel. Um, so yeah, the uh, Hep Cohen Becker Street uh, Side Bags, Soft Bags, uh, whatever they're called. Um, so this is the 14 to 17 litres version. Um, the measurements are uh, 26 by 44 by 23 centimetres uh, on the outside and inside is 24 by 42 by 21 um, they are probably ever so slightly wider than the mirrors as you can hopefully tell from uh, from the view there uh, but they're perfect for filtering um, you can uh, put five kilograms maximum in each well I've probably exceeded that a couple of times but uh, don't tell anyone um, my thoughts on these are that they look really good um, they're uh, less bulky than uh, hard panniers uh, while they you can still stick a decent amount of luggage in there uh, and kit um, at the minute I'll show you I've got my yeah so at the minute I've got my uh, drone kit in there um, but you can see it's quite deep you can get a decent amount in there perfect for uh, a week away anyway or even two weeks if you pack lightly um, what else would say about it? And uh, yeah, when I mean you got because they're soft bags, you got less worry when you're filtering. Um, so you have got the um, so it sticks out slightly there, but it's soft. So if you catch, if you do end up catching the car, you're not going to do any damage. It's all, you know, it, it, it won't even scratch. Um, so we've already touched on the, the width, so they're about the same as the mirrors. I'll try and give you front-on view <laughs> if you can get that in terms of build quality these have been really good so I've been to um, uh, I've had a long weekend in Wales uh, I've done a couple of trips with them and uh, they've done really well uh, I've had no issues with them. The only slight issue with the uh, quality, I would say, is that the uh, fixtures and fittings, I don't know if that picking up, have uh, seemed to be made on the uh, bolts and all that, seem to be poor quality because they've all rusted away. They're quite rusty. I mean, it's probably my fault for not cleaning them often, but I did treat them with uh, XCP corrosion blocker and uh, they're still showing quite a bit quite some signs of rust but that's irrelevant anyway you can't really see them uh, when the um, panniers are fitted I'll show you them actually I might as well show you the uh, pannier rack themselves now so to take them off just to unclip try this one hand is going to be fun Key there, and there you go, that comes off, that pops off, and that, that's your rack that remains. I think it looks uh, still not great, I'd say. I, I don't, I'm not a fan of uh, pannier racks, but uh, still better than uh, all, the, uh, all the frames that you get with the standard luggage. I think they look a mess when there's nothing on there. So, to fit back on, simple again slide it over the top make sure it's secured well make sure it's uh, seated inside and uh, yeah the key only goes one way so you got to make sure that uh, you're in the right way in turn bish bash bosh it's locked and then obviously Uh, probably best not to do this one-handed, but uh, 
<lacht> ich weiß, wie das. Und dann, ja, wenn es all clipped on, doesn't move at all, there's no wobbling, not with other soft panniers, systems, it's all securely attached. Um, obviously, access is super easy. You just unzip. Um, obviously, that, uh, that does create a bit of a problem for security because uh, obviously this isn't secure. I and mean, you can put a little padlock through there, but really, if someone wants to get in there, they're going to. But that's the disadvantage of uh, soft panel systems. Is that nothing that uh, Hepco and Beckham can do about that? Um, Got these carry handles as well, which are quite handy when you arrive at your destination. And um, yeah, I mean, in use, it's full, they've been totally stable. I mean, when I've looked back in the mirrors, you know, they're not flapping about at all, so they're really well secure. Uh, I've had no issues with water ingress despite being caught in some pretty heavy rain in Wales. And uh, yeah, they, they're less. Of a little bit less obtrusive than uh, um, all the uh, hard luggage options I find. They're much easier to live with than uh, hard panniers I find. And uh, I think they look quite good on the Tiger 900. They suit the bike pretty well. I'm uh, sure you'll agree. Um, so yeah, I mean you've got a decent size inside. So you can unzip that fully. Uh, that is a waterproof bag inside. You can take that out. And uh, you also get a shoulder strap, which I've tucked in there. You've got these neat little pockets here, quite handy. But yeah, you can take the uh, waterproof bags out and, uh, you know, probably get a bit more in. But uh, and, uh, it's never leaked anything. Never leaked at all, so I've got, I've got no real complaints in terms of water ingress. So, uh, so I'd, um, you know, if I was going to, so on a short trip, I probably would just, uh, even though I need, I mean, only if you needed to carry a lot of stuff, I'd probably uh, leave a waterproof bag out because it, it will cope in, in, in showers. I'll see if you're going to Wales and yeah, pack the uh, waterproof bag. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, that's about all I can say about uh, the Hepco and Becker side soft bags. Um, the racks themselves were easy to fit on the Targon 100. It's just a few bolts. Uh, and just access and the seat is probably a little bit fiddly, but uh, it's uh, nothing, you know, um, a, well, even, uh, uh, I've only got... Uh, fairly basic mechanical knowledge so uh, yeah even I could fit them fine so you know unless you really are uh, absolutely hopeless with the spanners then uh, you'll be able to fit down no problem at all yeah definitely one thing to note as well is that uh, you will filter fine with these I've done some pretty extreme filtering on the way back from Wales and uh, had no real issues as long as, you're, to be honest, as long as your mirrors will fit through comfortably and you don't have to worry about it it's fine they will go through And you have a massive advantage over uh, hard luggage as well, is these weigh next to nothing. And uh, you really notice that on the bike. I mean, I had the um, Triumph top box as standard, and that, that, that weighed a ton. You can notice it in the handling at low speeds. So I've replaced it with the V40 that's lighter, and uh, it'd be the same with these. Um, they weigh next to nothing when you're riding you don't even if they're empty like that you don't even notice they're there barely notice they're there to be honest so um but yeah that's about uh, all i've got to say um yeah i'm great with a bit of kit i love them i wouldn't have i wouldn't swap these for anything else um there you go thanks for riding with me guys see you on the next one